Explain who Cutthroat was. So Cutthroat, he, I had known him just for a few weeks, just for a few weeks, and I had met him right after I had been raped for the first time. A lot was going on, and I had always wanted acceptance from other people. I had always wanted to be seen as though I belong somewhere. And so it was rather quickly that I found myself just drawn to him. I felt that, you know, he listened to me in ways that no one else listened to me. I really felt in my head that I was in a relationship with this man. And so when it came time for him to say, we need money for this, we need money for a hotel, and this is what you can do, it was like, okay, I'm gonna do this because I love this person and I'm just contributing to the relationship. Completely unhealthy thought patterns that I had developed from actually being on the run, learning unhealthy behaviors, unhealthy understanding of sexual relationships. Um, I really had come to see my body as, you know, a good to be traded for shelter, for food, for money, for the things that I needed to get by. Um, so with all those seeds that were already planted, it was, his work was, you know, was already done. He drew a gun on you, he strangled you. So it didn't start out that way, naturally. I don't know many people that would stay in a situation where it starts out that way. Of course, they always start out nice, very charming. And, you know, then it would lead to, he would just snatch me up a little, just shake me up. Guns with lectures, and when I say lectures, I mean like hours on end spent telling me, you know, you're nothing but a slut. No one will ever want you but me. And, you know, in my mind, I was like, this is not true. But you got to think like how that's really just sinking into me. I was already in a low place. And, you know, there was times that one time he actually had choked me until I passed out. Like the man could have really killed me. That was actually on the night right before I had met Mr. Allen, the man that I had ended up shooting. I had really come to expect violence from men. And I really think that that played a big role in what happened that night. And it would take years for me to really just unpack everything, to just really process all the trauma that I had really built up. When did you 